The protest against the posting of bilingual public signs in both the Latin and Serbian Cyrillic script in Vukovar continue today with a demonstration in the village of Bogdanovci just outside of the city. The protesters say they will continue these activities until the end of the week. Otherwise, President Ivo Josipovic suggested that instead of having the signs removed, they should only be posted at specific locations. Tomislav Karamarko, the chief of the largest parliamentary opposition party, the Croatian Democratic Union, proposed amending Vukovar's city charter. Croatian Entrepreneurship and Small Business Minister Gordan Maras presented the results of the Entrepreneurial Impulse Project for Free Enterprise Zones. He also signed contracts on non-returnable aid in an amount of 10 million Croatian kuna for five counties and cities, covering a total of nine projects. He noted that the work in these zones will involve 90 new businesses and create 1,600 new jobs. Former Fire Chief Drajan Slavica was acquitted of all charges in the Korneti wildfire case yesterday at the conclusion of his two-and-a-half-year trial. According to the first instance judgment, no evidence was presented that Slavica had been criminally negligent or otherwise bore culpability for the lives of the 12 firefighters who were killed in that incident six years ago. Public prosecutors said they will file an appeal. The Zagreb County Court is considering the grounds for yet another indictment against former Croatian Prime Minister and former Croatian Democratic Union Chief Ivo Sanader. This time he is under suspicion of working together with businessman Robert Tijic to convince the former CEO of the National Power Company to disperse 15 million Croatian kuna in loans to Tijic's companies and sell him electricity at reduced rates. The 11th Annual World Theatre Festival begins today. It will open this evening in the Croatian National Theatre in downtown Zagreb with the performance of Death in Venice, Songs on the Death of Children, directed by Tomas Ostermayer. This year the festival will feature five theatrical pieces by world-renowned directors. Taking a look at sports at the Men's European Basketball Championship being held in neighboring Slovenia, the Croatian team defeated the Czech Republic on Monday evening in the last match of the initial Group C with a score of 70-53. to With four wins and one loss so far, the Croatian team is moving on to the tournament's next round, where it will face Italy, Finland and Greece. At the Women's European Volleyball Championship hosted by Germany and Switzerland, the Croatian team will play against the Netherlands this evening. They secured a spot in the top 16 after defeating Belarus in straight sets 3-0 on Monday. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Conditions will be unstable with partially overcast skies and a chance of local showers inland and thunder showers on the Adriatic coast with heavier rainfall at places. Winds inland will be light, while moderate to strong Scirocco and southwestern winds will hit the Adriatic coast. The sea will be moderately choppy, with a visibility from 10 to 20 kilometers. Afternoon temperatures will range from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius inland, and from 24 to 28 degrees on the coast.